Now I give the floor to the representative of Russian Federation. Thank you, Madam President. We are grateful to the representative of the special representative of the Secretary General, Zahir Tanin, and his team for their work and the objective assessment of the situation in Kosovo. The UN mission is playing and will continue playing an important role in the province. We also note your personal efforts, Mr. Tanin, you've been making. We also welcome the participation in the meeting of the first Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Foreign Affairs of Serbia, Mr. Ivica Dacic. We agree with uh, uh, what you said, Mr. Minister, when you expressed serious concern with the situation in the province. We also support the uh, uh, determination on the leadership of, of Serbia to resolve all of the issues of civilized dialogue. We also listened very carefully to what was said by Ms. Chitako. According to our assessment, the situation in Kosovo is not, not only stabilizing. On the contrary, it's deteriorating. Uh, negative factors are accumulating. And the development of the situation is something that requires constructive diplomatic uh, um, involvement and international control, first and foremost through the UN mission in Kosovo. All the more so since, as we understand, the ULEX mission is planning to leave the province. Uh, to date, there is still no progress in investigating the murder of a well-known Kosovo Serb politician, Oliver Ivanovic. Since the date of the crime, which took place on the 16th of January, a lot of time has elapsed. Uh, however, uh, there have been no intelligible information about the results of this investigation, nothing that we have heard so far. We are therefore left with the impression that the authorities in Pristina, after they tried and failed to shift the blame on Serbia, decided to simply forget about this. But the truth has to be determined uh, as quickly as possible, and then uh, the Security Council has to be informed of it. In addition to this tragedy in Kosovo Mitrovica on the 26th of March, there was yet another egregious incident uh, where uh, we had the arrest, a rough and humili humiliating violent arrest of the director of Serbia's Kosovo office, Marko Juric. As a result of this uh, staged and cruel provocation, tens of people were beaten up. This kind of an un unmotivated violence on the part of the special forces from Pristina is something that uh, brings into question the already fragile peace in the province. And it is only because the Serbs behaved responsibly that uh, they managed to avoid uh, a bloodshed. This kind of lawlessness as regards the Serbs uh, in Kosovo is something that illustrates a deplorable situation when it comes to law enforcement and human rights. And this is drastically different from the rosy, pic rosy but virtual pictures that are being painted by those who um, advocate the independence of the province. In this regard, we are puzzled by the open permissiveness on the part of the international presence, uh, the K4, the European Rule of Law Mission, ULEX. The only thing they did is idly observe um, from the sidelines and remove themselves from doing anything in order to ensure public order and safety. We think that this uh, um, kind of intimidation uh, against uh, the Serbs in Kosovo and suppressing their determination to protect their legitimate interests is very dangerous and can result in the reappearance of armed clashes in Kosovo. It could also destabilize the Balkans region as a whole. What the line chosen by Pristina is only inflaming the situation and is undermining the long-lasting efforts of the international community um, in, in the area of post-conflict settlement. Um, we would like to address those who have influence over Pristina and call upon them to please exert um, a restraining pressure on, on, on those whom you support and de-escalate the tension. Unfortunately, what we're witnessing is exactly the opposite. Pristina is getting the impression uh, that they can do everything with impunity and they have full permissiveness. In 
contrary to the resolution 2040, 1944, um, they continue preparing the transformation of the current security forces in Kosovo into a full, fully fledged army. And this is being helped by something that's outside of the UN mandate. This is being held by some NATO contingents in K4. And for this, for these purposes, in particular, the territory of the closed bond steel base is being used. This way, military preparation is being carried out for the Kosovo Albanian fighters for active combat. We would like to warn here that in the interest of peace and security in the Balkans, what is needed is to stop trying to create such a fist, which some hot-headed entities will, um, of course, use against the Serbs in the province. We also have issues, um, I have questions about the complete close nature of the bond steel base. Um, at the time, its creation was based on the need to ensure international presence under the UN mandate within the framework of the Security Council 1244 resolution. But the international community has the right to note what kind of military activity is conducted there. Who is being trained there and for what purposes? What kind of exercises are being conducted? We think it would be logical to include this kind of information in the quarterly reports about the um, uh, UN mission in Kosovo. We also con con concerned and worried by the notification we received some time ago from NATO um, about the fact that the K-4 command will stop contacts with Russian representatives. What is being hidden from a permanent member of the Security Council by this international entity, which is in Kosovo on the basis of the UN mandate? We would like to hope that uh, reason will prevail and this mistaken decision will be reviewed. Madam President, the Russian position on Kosovo remains unchanged and is based on the international legal frameworks which are reflected in the Security Council Resolution 1244. This document remains the cornerstone for the Kosovo settlement. We are of the view that the Kosovo issue can be settled only using the political path on the basis of the negotiations between parties on in the spirit of goodwill and international law. Unfortunately, we have to acknowledge that the dialogue between Belgrade and Pristina uh, has been discredited. From the moment the Brussels agreement was signed, uh, more than five years have elapsed, but the key agreement contained there, and this was arrived at under the aegis of the um, EU, namely creating the community of Serb municipalities in Kosovo, is still not implemented. What we're witnessing is a laxity on the part of the European Union, the European Union, which is the international mediator, but they did not compel the Kosovo Albanians to implement the agreements achieved under their on Aegis. As a result of that, Pristina is openly undermining implementing its own commitments and refusing to abandon their own unrealistic demands. In contrast to that, what we're witnessing is a, con is a constructive approach by Bel Belgrade and the statement made by President Vucic of readiness to uh, work out a compromise. With their cons we are with their for at the same time concerned by the increased pressure on the Serbian leadership uh, trying to compel Belgrade to acknowledge a de facto independence of Kosovo. We expect that a Brussels dialogue will be spared these uh, these kinds of uh, pressure and of course cer certainly spared from any kinds of ultimatums if this doesn't happen then we can not expect that we'll have any kind of success in the form of an acceptable uh, a solution we think it is untimely to push forward and link the so-called final and uh, complete normalization between Belgrade and Pristina to some kind of an artificial timeline first of all what we need to do is that there are full implementation of earlier agreements without which the already weak trust between members of the negotiating pro process can disappear altogether. In the center of our attention is the implementation of the agreement on creation of the, uh, the uh, community of Serb municipalities. Once again, 
we need to note that there has been no kind of uh, practical move moving forward as regards a special court on the crimes committed by the Kosovo Liberation um, Army in The Hague. Even though it's been more than seven years, it's now the eighth year since the publication of the report on that. Another serious issue, we think it is not constructive to delay the start of the work of this body under artificial pretexts. We expect that the special court will start working in the very near future and will be as transparent as possible. All of those who committed terrible crimes, including trafficking in human organs, have to face justice and have to be justly punished, regardless of what kind of positions they occupy now. Uh, the position of the retired prosecutor Schwendemann, we understand uh, he is now being replaced by the American lawyer, Mr. Smith, and we hope that he will start work very quickly and finally will show us some tangible results in the form of specific indictments. What is also unsatisfactory is the rate of return to the province of the refugees and the inter internally displaced peoples. As is stated in the report, and uh, during the reporting period, only three people have returned to Kosovo. Um, some um, some um, are, this is truth and may be an unpleasant truth, however. We are continuing witnessing attacks at houses and property of Kosovo Serbs, uh, cases of vandalism as well. What we need to pay particular attention to is ensuring proper protection for the orthodox uh, uh, facilities, churches, monasteries in Kosovo. Um, and in Kosovo, what we need to have is to put an end to the destructive practice of, of uh, desecrating and humiliating the Serbs and other minorities. We should not pass this in silence. We need to practically get down to resolving the acute issues and problems, such as, for example, the uh, area of anti-terrorism, uh, combating corruption and combating crime. And the situation in those areas is very, very concerning. Under current conditions, the international community, with the leading role played by the UN and in, in the form of the Security Council and UNMIC, needs to pay closer attention to the situation in Kosovo and actively uh, support maintaining stability and security in the province. Given all of this, we think it's completely inappropriate today to ask to modify the format we consider the situation in Kosovo in the Security Council. Let me remind uh, those who ignore this that the UN mission in Kosovo was created by the Security Council. And it is only the Security Council who has the authority to make the relevant decisions thereupon. Unilateral statements have no legal force. And in conclusion, Madam President, I would like to, to point out that the Western Balkans, with their rich history and their potential, can and should become the region for cooperation, interaction, rather than uh, tension and hostility. But in order to achieve that, we need to abandon the logic of confrontation and placing the countries in the region in front of, of, of a false choice. Are you with us or are you against us? As in many other parts of the world, what we need to have there is collective work on the basis of mutual respect, and the Russian Federation is ready for that. Thank you. Thank the representative of Russian Federation.